This is the gatehouse at Edgar. It's all boarded up. They haven't torn it down yet. It's made off wood siding. And the paint job on it's still not in too bad a shape. I've seen houses worse. I've seen houses with worse roofs on them too. They'll tear that building down soon. And this is the Edgar Adult they've Occupational Center. They've announced they're going to make this into a subdivision. It's a beautiful area. There's the old tennis court. There's really not much left here. They tore all the houses down, I think, last year, the buildings. There's this big, huge pile of sand and gravel. I mean, it's big. Probably 50, 60 feet tall. And, I don't know, a couple hundred feet long, maybe. And here's some of the remnants of the buildings that were here. All the different kinds of bricks. There's yellow ones and red ones and textured ones. There's a plumbing pipe. Oh, there's part of a chimney. There's part of a sidewalk. Oh, there's a piece of pavement. That's about all that's left of all the big buildings. Way over there, some of the wood. Looks like a couple of burning barrels. And this is the back side of that big pile. And back here, we have some more fill. And in amongst the fill, we have a fire hydrant sitting over there all by itself. Looks like it's still connected. And some more piles. And some more piles. Looks fairly freshly dropped here, so they're probably getting ready to build the roads for the subdivision. Ugly looking pile of garbage. There's this concrete box sitting here with a door on it. Is this an underground bunker? A garbage container? Why would it be enclosed in concrete? 
It has vent holes in every corner at the top there. See? That's a heavy metal door on it. Just not sure what that is or was used for. And it has a lock on the outside. Hmm. That's kind of scary. Looks like there might have been a building here. We have this concrete structure sticking out of the top, out of the ground, and on the top. There's what the top of the manhole cover looks like. I tried to lift it, but it's way too heavy for me. And that is about three feet up off the ground. Here's one of the remaining buildings. This is the back side. It's a good strong looking building. Looks like it was a pump house or something like that. It has this hose thing here on the side of the building. And if you look, it still works. That one still works. That could be recycled. And here's side view. They got the windows boarded up. Something odd I find about this building is this great big pipe coming out through the door. Not sure why that was put there. The building's well boarded up, and so it should be. It's a good strong looking building. Maybe they're going to use it for storage or something while they're making a subdivision. It's always a shame to see a good building tore down. Here's the remnants of another building. I'm sure there's somebody who could tell us which building this was. You can hear a woodpecker over in the bush finding lunch. Oh look, there's a heater over there. Not doing a very good job of heating things up. It's kind of cool for this time of year. Still some snow over there.
this is the inside of the very front part of the bunkie. See, there's the hole in the roof. Two fluorescent lights. There's still an office desk over there. An old, old, old bleach bottle. There's this big valve thing here. That goes down and goes over there. There's kitchen sink. Some M&M &M chicken nuggets. An empty paper towel holder. Empty first aid kit. Oh, there's a funnel in the drawers. And way over there in the corner, there's a set of stairs going down. Looks like it goes down about six feet. And then it goes underneath the floor. Now from here, I am assuming that that is the access into that bunkie in the back. We're on top of some underground room. It just looks like a big mound of sod. There's the vent holes, vent pipes. There's four of them. This room looks like it's maybe 60 by 60, 60 by 80. And over here is two access exit points. They're concrete with ladders sunk into the side of them. They were open when I got here. I didn't open them. I'm a little bit adventuresome, but there has never been a time in my life what I would have went down there. That just looks too claustrophobic to me. There'd have to be a pending war to get me down there. This is the roof of the entranceway. It's just a flat roof with pea gravel on it. If you notice, there's a big hole over there, so we're not going out on the roof. The view from up here is spectacular. This is the very highest point at this camp. This used to be part of the RCAF, Royal Canadian Air Force, radar system. And with this being the highest point, I'm going to assume this is where they had their access to the property. This bunky is probably theirs. This is the front entrance into the bunky. It's all boarded up. Except there's a window over there. We're going to go check and see what's inside there. That is solid concrete slabs that it's made out of. And here's the remnants of another building that they tore down. Still has some windows in it. We'll get up there closer. Beautiful retaining wall here.
I'm going in. If I fall in, my cell phone's in my coat pocket. Okay. And you've got my coat. The door is open. I'm going in. Lots of broken windows. Graffiti. And let's take a walk in a little bit and see how solid it is. There's a ladies washroom. And doesn't look functional. There's a gents washroom. Probably storage closet. This building feels really strong. So far. That's the glass. Somebody removed the floor in here. Oh, this looks like an auditorium. This would have been either a dining hall or where they met. Still has curtains on there. There's three layers. kitchen area to make sandwiches and soup and sell potato chips and stuff like that if they had a dance. That's what I visualize it as. So my insulation, I'll drop down there. The attic access is open. Doesn't look like there's much of an attic up there. Somebody's been up there though, dropped all that insulation down. Vandals have made short work of this, made it a lot easier for demolition. A little closet over there with a poof on the bottom shelf. Looks like somebody lives here. Not sure what kind of poop that is. Don't make a habit of studying poop. Those were beautiful wooden doors with glass in them at one time. And another meeting room. So this isn't the office. This is the meeting hall. This side has some colored glass in it. Pretty nice red. This building is still structurally strong. 